much. I, I have to tell you, this is a lot of pressure to be in a room with as many wonderful entertainers and talented people as this, and, and yet I'm supposed to be up here and entertain you for a little bit. Uh, actually, I, I'm just amazed that this is such a wonderful event, and it's wonderful in more than one way because it's a wonderful thing to see Chris and Wesley be married, but we ought to also take time to celebrate the fact that New Jersey, along with a lot of other places in America, has decided that gay marriage is okay after all. We have known that for a long time. Not everybody has agreed with that, of course. Uh, I mean, we have to admit that there are still places in America that are opposed to it. I heard a TV preacher the other day say that God was going to destroy America because of this. He did go on to say that immediately after that there would probably be a large group of gay men who would come in and do a marvelous restoration. <laughs> I, I'm amazed when I hear people say that they think our founding fathers would have been uh, offended by gay marriage. Uh, let me tell you something. Have you ever seen a picture of those guys? <laughs> I mean, stop and think about that. They're gathering in the city of brotherly love, <laughs> wearing wigs and uh, satin capri pants. You know, cute little, cute little black patent shoes with adorable little gold buckles. You know, I just don't see how they could be offended by this. But to tell you the truth, Maudel and I are really so impressed with this, with this wedding. We've really fallen behind the times. Uh, you may have noticed that we're not as young as most of you are. And, and we haven't kept up with the way weddings are supposed to be planned and, and carried out. But you know something? There is one thing that we do know about that we might be able to give you some advice and information about, and that's marriage. We've been married for 58 years. I, I can tell you that as parents, we feel like we really should give Chris and Wes some advice about that because you know something? As you get older, things do change. Uh, marriage sometimes changes. The first sign that you get that things may be changing for you really doesn't have anything to do with uh, marriage. It just has to do with reaching that point in life where maybe you ought to be alert to these changes. For instance, I call this the looking good stage. You know, when people start saying, you're looking good, that's the third stage of life. There's youth, there's middle age, and there's you're looking good. I mean, I want to say, what did you expect? I had a friend who told me there's a fourth stage. It's called, don't he look natural? But as far as marriage is concerned, there is, there are, there is a second uh, symptom that you see that maybe your marriage is reaching a stage of maturity that there should be some, you should be alert to this because sometimes these things happen and people are surprised by it and get very disturbed. Uh, I will tell you just one thing. When the day comes that your spouse says, let's go upstairs and make love, and you say, I can't do both. I may have struck a nerve. <laughs> well, let me move on to something serious. Chris wanted me to spend a little time sharing with you some information about our journey together. It, 
will be no surprise to you to learn that when Chris was born, Maudell and I began to immediately lay out a road map. We thought that we were going to guide him onto that route and that it was going to go past some beautiful scenic spots, some great highlights, and it was going to end up at the end a destination of great happiness and success and love. But something funny happened on the way to that road map. Chris decided to take an alternate route. It wasn't a detour because it was just an alternate route. It was going to the same destination. But as parents, uh, frankly, we were very worried about that. Because, see, we were ignorant about that route. We didn't know anything about that. We'd never traveled that route. We'd never been on that path, but we were sure that it was going to be lonely, that it was going to be full of traps, and it was going to be dangerous, and there were going to be a lot of rough, difficult patches to navigate. Well, we were right about that in the sense that it is a rough road uh, for Chris to follow and for us. But we knew one thing. We didn't know for sure what the road, where the road was going to lead us, but we knew that if Chris was going on that path, he wasn't going to go alone. But we had to turn the driving over to him because he knew where he was going all the time and so he, he became a leader to us. And real early in that trip, Wesley came on board and he became such a vital element uh, in our journey together. We can't imagine what it would have been like to go without either of them. And they led us past some surprising places. Not difficult, not scary, really beautiful scenes, beautiful places on that trip that we would have never known even existed if they hadn't led us. And the most beautiful part of that trip was the people who populate that route. There is, there are just no, there are no words to explain how fortunate we feel to have met such loving, caring, creative, intelligent, great people as we have met on this route with them. Uh, it, you have accepted us, you have accepted them, and I'm talking about all of you in this room and many others. It means so much to Maudel and to me as parents to know that even though we may be a thousand or more miles away. There's a, there's a group of people who are here to support and love them and, and share their difficulties and help them through the rough patches. And all of you are part of that. Thank you for that. Thank you. Now, let's have a toast. We are so thankful, we're so proud to have Chris and Wes in our family, and we want nothing but the best for them. So our toast to you guys is to say, I, I, I pray and hope that your worst, or excuse me, your best yesterdays will be your worst tomorrows and that the, the most that you ever dream about and hope for is the least you ever get. Cheers. <laughs>